Hey everyone, um, this is Ara, and today we are going to take a quick demo of my Rumi remote control. We, I've made a video in the past, but have, I've made some changes to it and uh, got a few emails from some people asking for a video of that. So we're going to go through it kind of quickly. We're not going to go through all the details because we've done that on a previous remote. So we're going to focus just on some of the new things that I've done. Uh, and you can find that on our YouTube channel. Um, I just go search YouTube for HT guys and you'll find us there. All right. So um, one of the things I did do is I added the media room, which in the previous uh, video did not exist. But uh, we're going to launch the family room here because that's where a lot of the changes have been added. And, you know, the panels on the left have all the activities. And um, so I'm just going to turn on the, the TV here with the watch TV. And uh, everything comes to life. The television turns on. We're on channel seven here. You can see ABC. Uh, it's a really cool remote. It has a lot of, uh, it has more information than your typical remote. If you got a two-way um, receiver and uh, say a satellite box, you'll get the information on what you're watching, which is down here. This area here will give you information on what you're watching, uh, how long it is, two hours this program is, how much time you're into it. Up here, I, I kind of like the, um, the volume control. It'll give you feedback that you're on Dolby Digital and the uh, volume. But um, that all that stuff I think we've shown in the past. I think new is this clock down here. And you can um, set activities to happen based on time, which that's a new feature. And uh, I, I really like that. The only issue is that the remote has to be uh, on the foreground for that activity to take place. So if you put it in the background, then the activity won't, uh, won't fire off. But some of the cool new features that, uh, or new things that I've added are my lighting control down here. So we're going to launch that. And um, so I, I only brought in the lights that were relevant to the, in this particular case, the family room. So the kitchen lights, uh, the laundry room light, because if the door is left open and the lights on it, it will um, affect the, the ambiance, family room lamp and the hallway. And so you can just click the button and the light will turn on. So the, the laundry room light is at 100%, but what's really neat is a slider too. So I can cut the vol the light down to half and it'll dim. And so it's kind of neat in the family room and the kitchen. Those lights are typically the ones that are on in while we're watching TV and you can dim it down and set the mood. It's, it's a really kind of cool thing. And this ties in with the Indigo home automation, um, um, the home automation control. Uh, and it's been put together really seamlessly. Uh, one of the things I would like to do is be able to put custom um, images on, uh, but that's just a, a little bit. It, it, it doesn't matter too much, but it would be kind of cool if you could customize it, uh, maybe with a picture of the actual light. So we'll, we'll close this off. Um, I think I, uh, over here, the thermostat, I think I've had that before, but we'll bring that up. And what that does is it, I've using this feature in OS 10, it's called um, URL control. So I've launched the application for Indigo and I've set up a control page for thermostat and there it is. And so I can, I can set the temperature higher or lower. And then when I'm done, I can click on this button down here, which will bring me back to my roomie remote control. So that way you don't have to go out of the control, you know, out of the remote and then search for the app. And it's a little, while it's not exactly embedded within there, it is, um, uh, it is a nice way to, to do that without a major headache. The other thing, which is, um, which is cool, which is coming up in uh, the version three is they are going to have embedded thermostat control. So I won't even have to exit. I'll be able to press that button and the controls for the thermostat will just pop up. Uh, let's see. What else do I have here? Uh, I have, let's see the Apple remote and that just launches the Apple remote because once in a while the Apple remote is, um, uh, it has a little bit more functionality than the IR control that, that, uh, the roomie has with the Apple TV. And then I can select what I need to do with the Apple remote on the device and, and do the control. 
uh, a little bit of a hint here coming up on OS, in, I'm sorry, in the version 3 of Rumi, they will have embedded Apple I, IP control. So I won't even have to do this here in the future. But this is what I was telling you. It will launch a remote, but there's no way to get back from the remote. So I actually have to click the button to go to the home page and then, and then hit the remote control. All right, so um, we're going to leave this. We'll turn everything off. We'll leave this room and we'll go to the media room. And in the media room, one of the cool things I have here is I have a movie mode on and a movie mode off button. And that's controlled through my Insean and that sets a scene. In the past, what I would do was I would launch the Indigo control panel. So here we'll launch that and show you how I used to have to do it. It's the Indigo control panel. And then over here, I have a movie mode on and a movie mode off. I would hit which uh, version I wanted. And then I would hit the remote and go back to the remote. Now I can do that directly here. I can put it into movie mode on. Oops, sorry. I'm trying to record and do this at the same time. I hit the wrong button. So I'll hit movie mode on. And what that does is it will um, turn the, the, um, the can lights on at like 30%. So it's really low lighting, but there's a little bit of lighting in the room. And then it'll turn off. There's a lamp that's in the family room. I'm sorry, in the media room. It'll turn that off. And um, so if I go to the control panel, we should see that the... Once in a while, my um, my control panel doesn't have all the images. Sorry. So there it is. You can see the media room can lights are on, which is what we wanted when we hit movie mode. And oh, the laundry room light is still on from the previous demo. So I'll turn that off. All right. So now I'm going to go back to the remote. And then I'll turn movie mode off. And uh, we'll go back to the control panel. And unfortunately, we're going to have to do this again. I don't know why that's been an issue with my um, Indigo lately, that uh, some of the images don't fill in. So you see the media room lamp is on. And, um, so, and that's what we would expect when we turn the movie mode off. The only problem, this is my programming issue, is that... If you do it in the daytime, when the lamp was not on to begin with, it turns it on. But so we'll just turn it off manually there and we go back. And uh, so also I have, um, um, again, from this room, I have control of the uh, thermostat and also have the lights that are within reach of this area. So I have the media room lights, the media room can, and I have security lights that will turn on uh, in the house if there is a motion sensor that gets tripped. And then I can just turn them off from here so I don't have to, uh, you know, uh, go upstairs and hit a button or anything like that. So that's that's the control. Um, again, if you want to see more of how the remote itself works, you can go look at the previous video we did. This was more a video about how we've done home automation. This is my master bedroom. Um, you can see up at the top up here, there are no... Um, I don't hit, get any feedback from my receiver, so that is controlled via IR. And all I can do is volume up or volume down, and I can mute it, but uh, beyond that, there's not much I can do. Same sort of thing here. We're on the left side here. I've got thermostat control, my home automation control panel. Um, and then I've got I've created this uh, DVR control here so I can set the DVR to go to sleep after 30 minutes. I have a button on that i did that with uh indigo a while ago and um the reason is i've created a um timers down here this sets the television to time off after 60 minutes this sets the um the um uh, receiver to time off after 60 minutes and then with the dvr control I, i've got a button there that sets the dvr to t time off after 60 minutes with the new roomy um 30 uh with the ro new roomy 3.0 i'll be able to have that system on a uh, have that control 
on a computer somewhere in the house and then I can just say shut down the fa the master bedroom in an hour and it'll just do that and I won't need those buttons anymore. But um, so that's it. Um, again, very powerful software. It's got great remote control uh, from a point of view of a remote control and, um, and you know the DVR the <coughs> the TV guide is fantastic. So if we click on this, it'll bring up what uh, what you're watching, and um, it'll tell you what's up on that channel coming uh, in the future. Um, so it's really sophisticated with images and everything. I, I really like this remote control quite a bit. Uh, <coughs> it was quite easy to um, um, to set up. Easy for me, I guess. So, but for most people, it shouldn't be. Uh, it, it's not terribly difficult. Let's put it that way. And there's a lot of great support uh, at Rumi remote.com if you've got any questions you can post there and a lot of people will help with answers as well as the people from Rumi remote they uh, read the form and answer as well and if you've got a question go ahead send us an email and I'll do my best to answer that as well so um, hopefully you enjoyed this video if you um, got any questions send us an email at HDTV podcast at Mac.com and if you can support our show through uh, our Amazon link, that's htguys.com slash Amazon. The whole world of Amazon is available for you there. And we get a small commission on anything you buy through that link. So we greatly s appreciate it. <clears throat> Apologize for my voice. Um, I'm starting to come down with a cold. But uh, wanted to make sure I get this video done. Thanks a lot for your support. And we'll catch you next time.